sick kids. What time is that? Hey, it's Edson from Geek Time TV, and I wanted to talk to you about Join the Future. It's a five-issue comic series published last year by uh, Aftershock Comics, written by Zach Kaplan with art by Peter Kowalski. Um, Brad Simpson does the coloring, and Hassan Otsmani Yahahu with lettering. I apologize. I might not have gotten the uh, pronunciations right. Uh, I picked up the trade paperback, which collects all five issues, and it's uh, quite the read. Uh, it's set in the future where they have built these uh, huge mega cities, offering all the um, technological conveniences, uh, you know, plenty of food, uh, free health care for everyone, uh, ed education, universal basic income, and so forth. But there are still some people who, want, who prefer to be in the rural, rural areas, such as um, the, um, the small town of Franklin, where uh, teenager Clementine Libby lives with her father and brother. They, uh, they lead an independent life, hunting, uh, working off the land, uh, you know, no one to rely on, rely on but themselves and their neighbors. So uh, when a representative comes from the megacity, um, he offers a place for everyone in the town. And uh, he wants them all to join the mega city, all the benefits that come with it. He doesn't go into specifics uh, in terms of like uh, the the ways you, what what you have to do to join, other than um, sign away your the, your land, of course. But at one point, he turns to Clementine and says, "A young, a young woman like you, willing to have children, you'd be taken good care of." So, um, does that mean that? Um, uh, the women's role is to to just uh, add population to the city. It sounds a little fishy, but anyways, uh, Clementine's father, the mayor of the town, uh, flatly refuses anyway, and uh, it tells them to that they can take care of themselves, and he sends them away. But soon it becomes apparent that it really isn't a choice after all. Um, Clementine's home is attacked by uh, soldiers with advanced weaponry. Um, her father and brother are killed right in front of her, and, and she barely escapes into the woods. Uh, later, uh, she finds out that uh, all the rest of the town uh, sells out. I mean, uh, they clearly see the writing on the wall. They don't want to get killed as well. Uh, but Clementine, she, she refuses to go. She's determined to right the wrongs done to her family, uh, even though uh, all she really has is her uh, father's uh, six shooter. So she, she knows she needs help. She goes and finds this um, um, man by the name of uh, Trader because he runs an, an outpost um, where people come to trade for supplies. She wants, she, she, what she asks of him is to, first of all, to train her to become a better shot so she can fight better. And then she obviously she wants some ammunition as well. Um, at first he wants no part of it. He, he tells her that he's basically uh, just going to be helping her so, so she can go commit suicide. He tries to convince her that she just go along with the, go into the city, but she flatly refuses and um, changes his mind when she offers to cook him a genuine home cooked meal. Uh, he, he, as, as they're talking and enjoying the meal, he apparently has visited the mega city. Um, although we don't know why he, he was able to go, without uh, without joining. He tells her that it's really noisy in there. He says, um, the choices you had before, they're just gone. Things you loved, you just don't do them anymore. It's not just that you can't see the stars, it's that you forget that they're there. Um, sounds pretty sad actually, and it's obviously you're giving up your freedom for some kind of security. Anyway, he goes ahead and trains her and even offers her um, a more advanced gun than the six shooter. She goes back to town where uh, the city has hired local law enforcement to uh, ensure that the, everyone has left and she confronts them there. Uh, she, she wants to take them all on, but she's she's taken down easily because 
uh, the, the gun she's using uh, malfunctions and uh, turns, you know, shocks her uh, basically. And uh, sh so she's taken by them. She's given a choice and uh, it's, it's a simple choice. She either signs her life to the mega city or she dies. Um, but Clementine uh, sticks to her values. She doesn't want to, she, she doesn't want to go into the city, even if it means death. And um, so they just go ahead and ignore her decision and, have someone else sign for her anyways. But seeing who she is and how resourceful she is, she surprises them again and escapes, jumping off this bridge in, into the river below and then uh, evading them in the woods. Eventually, she makes, her, she makes her way back into the town, which is now deserted because everybody's out looking for her. And um, let's just say that she uh, prepares uh, for her last stand with them. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the ending. Um, uh, I want to make sure people have a chance to read it. But let me just say that um, it doesn't disappoint. This is a, a really good comic series that I would recommend to anyone. The story is it grabs you right from the beginning. Uh, Clementine is a, a strong female character uh, who, despite her flaws, is determined to fight for what uh, for what she stands for, uh, until until the very end, uh, you find yourself rooting for her, even though it's like you can't help but think, how can she, how can she beat these overwhelming odds? Uh, the dialogue is is smart. The pacing moves forward very quickly. You at no point do you ever get bored. The art is is also uh, it's it's beautiful. Uh, it's it contrast. You you see the contrast with the bright and shiny city with the darker, subtle to subtler tones of natural s scenery. Uh, yet it's outside in nature that the characters seem more alive than in the, the stifling city itself. Uh, I love the uh, Clementine's uh, expressions. Her facial expressions are so realistic, displaying shock and disbelief, uh, uh, as well as um, when she clenches her jaw and strong resolve. Uh, there's a lot of attention to details, such as the shading on the clothes uh, and all the folds and wrinkles. Um, the creative team has has really done a great job using the visual medium of the co medium of the comic to show you what what happens in the story instead of filling up the panels with too much exposition. In a comic, in a comic like this, with with such the combination of an interesting story and beautiful art. Uh, I don't think there's any better medium than, than a comic book to tell a story, I think. And it makes you think about how we sometimes allow technology to take over our lives. I mean, um, we, we obviously should use technology to help us, but if we allow it to take away the things essential to who we are, it's, it's, um, it's just not worth it. Uh, I mean, imagine not being able to experience a, not being able to go outside, experience a beautiful sunset, or even look up at the stars, or or just being able to take a walk uh, through the woods, breathe, breathing the fresh air. It's it's a uh, you know something to think about. Hopefully, I made you interested enough to read the series, and and I hope um, I hope you go out and and get this, and and please let us know, leave in the comics comments um, how, if you if you liked it. Uh, and if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It really does help us grow the channel. And I thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure you click the little bell icon to be notified anytime someone from our show drops new content here. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey kids, what time is that?